Yesterday I had this strange error where I couldn't open Photoshop and I was a bit confused when I read it at first because I was like, scratch this. You know, it's a weird term for me. It didn't really register until afterwards. So how do we fix this problem? Well, there's a few different things that you can do. So for example, you can free up some space if we go to control panel and just get rid of some of the apps or programs. If you go to programs and features, you can have a look and try to find some of them that you don't need or you want to remove just to clear up some space. But if you're like me and you're stuck in a situation where you need your programs, for example, I have all my Adobe programs and I have the essential things that I need. There is a few things that I could remove, but I do need them. So there's no point in removing them. Another thing that you can do is you can empty your recycle bin or you can simply type in percent temp percent and get yourself into the temp folder delete anything in here just to clear up more space so you press ctrl a and delete the ones that you can delete some of them you won't be able to so you just skip and as you can see we've cleared up some space there now finally the last way is to simply just use your alternative hard drive so if you have another one for example i have my d drive which is my hard drive and i can simply move it over to that one so if i move it over to this one and then press OK. Photoshop should try to move its temporary files onto the other hard drive. So we're just going to restart it. And there we go. As you can see, that is a simple fix that you can do. And if you are lucky enough to open it, then I would recommend going to edit, go down to preferences, go into general, and then once it loads up, and you just want to make sure that if there's any locations where they save it on your main hard drive or the one that's already been used and is full. So most of the time it'll put it on your C drive. You can easily move it over to a different folder so you can change the directory. And yeah, overall, you just want to make sure you give Photoshop more space. As you can see from my performance, I use quite a lot of RAM and you don't really need to use that much. It is a bit over exaggerated, but I just like the performance and I like it to be really snappy and quick. But you just want to make sure you have a different location and anything else that is on your main one, just move it over to your second hard drive. But anyway, I hope that's helped some of you. This has been a little problem that I had and I've just found out why it has happened. But anyway, I will see you all in my next video. Bye.